Can I go from complete Roblox game dev noob to solo dev front page pro? Let's find out! I have played a lot of tower defense games. And I mean, a lot. I'm talking cheese tower defense, the house TD, tower heroes, tower defense games based on TV shows, games based on other video games, five different skibbity toilet tower defense games. You get the idea. And this all led me to two questions. What does Roblox need more than another tower defense game? And who better to make it than me? Okay, what do I do now? Well, I guess we should come up with an idea first. What do the most popular tower defense games have in common? That's right. They're all based on something that's already popular. So I'm proud to introduce... Seinfeld Tower Defense You can get all the classic characters like Kramer and George and George's dad and explore iconic maps like Monk's Coffee Shop Hold on, I'm getting a call Hello How did you get this number? Okay Jerry, I'm sorry Apparently we can't do that Whatever, back to the drawing board This is the drawing board what makes a tower defense game fun? Well, a lot of things probably. But I think strategy is one of the big ones. It can be kind of boring when the strategy is just pick the guy with the bigger number every single time. But you also don't want a million different things to keep track of. So how do we find the middle between too much strategy and not enough strategy? Maybe some units are stronger against certain enemies like rock, paper, scissors. We could even take that a step further and make it elemental. You know, water beats fire, fire beats plant, plant beats water, that kind of thing. And maybe the units could all get special abilities too. Now what are these units actually going to be? We could make elemental wizards, but how many wizards can you really make? I can't even think of one. I want there to be a lot of different units. How about elemental animals? There's a lot of animals in the world. We could call it animals. Wait, no, animants. I think we have something here. We should probably make a few animants before we code the game, just to make sure we can. How hard can it be to learn Blender? Let's make our first animant. Okay, let's make a simpler animant. Like I said when I got fired from the smoothie shop, learning Blender is harder than I thought. Now we're talking, this one looks pretty good. This guy is named Birchin, he's a plant guy. Now we just need to import him into Roblox Studio. Why does he look like that? Okay, let's try that one more time. There we go. Now that's what I call a Birchin. Now we have to make the actual game. We'll just make a simple path to test this out. That looks good, but let's see if Birchin will actually walk on it. Hello? Why is there nobody here? Okay, let's try that one more time. And it's as simple as that. It's Birchin time. And everyone knows you can't have a tower defense game without the towers. It's right in the name. And it's as simple as that. I gave them health and mana bars too. But something's still missing. They're standing so still, it's kind of weird. They need some animations. How hard can that be? Back to Blender. Alright, we've imported Birchin back into the game for the third time. Now it's time to animate. I thought animation would be harder than this. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Okay, maybe animation is actually harder than I thought. Birchin has fallen and he can't get up. Let's try that one more time. I think I'm starting to see a pattern here. And just like that, we've got our first animant completely done. We got a walk animation and an attack animation. I should make an idle animation too. That wasn't too bad at all. If we're gonna make 5 maps and 10 animants for each map, that's only 49 more to go. How hard can it be to model, rig, and animate 49 more animants? It's only March, so hopefully I'll be done by the beginning of summer. Uncle Polly, hit the fast forward button.
I did it. I finally did it. After months of staring at Blender, watching every wildlife documentary ever made, and reading the thesaurus 15 times, I finally made 50 animants. What do you mean it's August? The summer's over? How is this possible? No problem, the timer starts now. I did some coding and got some of the maps done during the time skip, so at least we have more than just the animants done. I shouldn't have spent so much time writing that 500 page book of lore. I worked on the lobby a little bit too, but I didn't record that. So uh, here it is. It's not completely done, but I like it. I think the maps are all going to be different islands, so it only makes sense that the lobby is an island too. And everyone knows you need boats to get between islands. Unless you have an airplane. I've also played another lifetime worth of tower defense games in the meantime, and I've learned even more. I've noticed that in most tower defense games, you really can't do much with the less rare units. So I added a couple cool mechanics. The first, and less cool mechanic, is just a leveling system, so your animants can get stronger. The other mechanic is even cooler though. If you get five Birchins, you could make a full team. Or you could make a new animant. Like Octopistol. I've also noticed that a lot of games say that a unit is shiny, but it looks the exact same. I don't know about you, but that's not what shiny means to me. So I added some actually different forms for each animant. And a lot of them. What did you say? The video's more than half over, and you've only seen two animants? Okay, I'll show you your choices for your first animant. This is Quagma, the fire animant. This one is Mossloth, the plant animant. Over here we have Equisus, the water animant. Next we have Dynload, the artificial animant. And last but not least, Glowvine, the energy animant. You can pick any one of these animants when you start the game. And I'll say animant one more time. Animant. Alright, this is it. That's all I'm gonna show you. You gotta play the game if you wanna see the rest of the animants. So go play the game. Please. The link is right in the description. I'll even add a code for you guys as a special thank you. Use code launch day, all one word, for an extra animant to start your adventure with. I really had a lot of fun making this game, and I have a lot of ideas that didn't make it in. So let me know if you like the game and want to see more updates. Now I think I'm out of stuff to say. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you like Animants Tower Defense. Go play Animants. Please! What are you waiting for? Another code? Go play the game.